Padla Prison Farm marked its 10th anniversary today and in a break with tradition, visitors were invited in to have a look at the complex and enjoy a meal cooked by the prisoners using produce they've grown. Spanning 6,500 acres with around 3,500 livestock, the Padalup Prison Farm is an extensive operation. Padalup's one of three prison farms that we have here in WA and basically provides a lot of the food and the produce that the prisons use to actually feed prisoners. Today, the minimum security farm celebrated 10 years since it was reclassified as a prison. Previously, it was a work camp. The prisoners here get involved in community projects and today more than 100 people who have connections to the farm were given a tour and a long table lunch featuring produce prepared by some of the 84 inmates. By having the open day we've been able to really showcase what we can do and I can see that from here we'll have even more opportunities for the men to engage in. The visitors were shown that some of the prison's workshops as well as the farm produce including fruit, vegetables, herbs and cattle. Been at pile-ups and it's an immense opportunity for us prisoners here. Um, we can give back to the community through programs, we can get the training and support that we need to um, rehabilitate ourselves back into jobs on the outside. It's a good learning experience. It, um, it betters my chances for work once I'll be you know, upon release of pile-up prison. For many prisoners, it's the work they do outside the farm gates they appreciate most, including rebuilding the Mount Trio Trail in the Stirling Range National Park and the recent Mountains and Murals Festival in Mount Barker. Because I'm a local lad in the Great Southern myself, it's good to be able to give back to the community. You know, I feel like I kind of owe the community a little bit after my offence, you could say. And seeing the change in prisoners is rewarding for all those involved at Paddle Up. They've really developed a sense of self-worth, they feel positive about themselves. We're trying to really destigmatize crime. It's about restitution, it's about uh, fixing past wrongs, about giving back to community, but it's also about reintegration, getting people used to going back into community and hopefully going to a job and having a positive life in the, the Great Southern when they come out. Stephen Thomas, GWN 7 News.